Innes. Innes, Innes, Innes and Charlotte, fantastic, OK. Now, in this game, I, you, you do all the work and I, I get to talk. Is that all right? <laughs> anyway, uh, so what I want you to do, we're going to try and build ourselves off the planet, well, at least the first few steps. And here they are. So we've got the first step. This is my anti-gravity machine, which, which we now agree is genius. And uh, if you could just add, can you, can you grab some of those and add the next step? That's what we want to do. Is I, want to just, I basically want to get the idea of building us off the planet. So you put two on there. Fantastic. OK, and then I think if we can get a slap across. Yes, that'd be brilliant. I'll, I'll put that on. Yes, I see you. I do the easy bit. Um, hooray! I'm up one further bit away from the planet. It's like an enormous game of Jenga, although I hope it won't end the same way. Look, guys, look, you've done a fantastic job. Here we go. Up I go. And we could just keep going, couldn't we? If you were not getting tired and had infinite energy and we had infinite materials. That seems reasonable. Well, thanks very much for helping with that, guys. Really appreciate that. <laughs> what is stopping us just keeping on going? Hmm. Well, there is a problem. There is a problem. And in order to tell you about that problem, I'm going to invite some friends to help me work it out. Okay, well done, fantastic guys. Now, who was at the top? Who was at the top? What's your name? <laughs> Kira. Kira, you're at the top. Now, how was it at the top? Did you feel an enormous force on your shoulders? No. <laughs> did, you, did you feel yourself pressing down on other people? Yes, you did. <laughs> ah. And how was it at the bottom? You guys were all at the bottom. I was at the bottom. How do you, I mean, do you guys take it in turns? What, what goes on? Yeah, Does, we've got all the way. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, I mean, it's a, Basically, this is the problem, isn't it? Is that as you build things higher and higher and higher, you guys are always going to have to take all the weight that goes above you, yeah. mm -hmm. aren't you? And that just gets worse and worse and worse. So if we put another tier on top, which we're about to do, aren't we? <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> just joking you, OK. <laughs> Actually, but we'll just run that through again, because I just, I just want to get the hang of it. And I want everyone to look at these guys' faces on the bottom, not the top. She gets all the glory all the time. Look at the people doing the work at the bottom. OK, let's go for it again, guys. these guys. <laughs> okay, so, so what we saw there really is, is this sort of, you know, if, 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 if buildings had emotions, right, all the bricks and stones at the bottom would be going, oh, for all the time, wouldn't they? Because they've got to hold the whole building up. And as the building gets higher and higher and higher, their load doesn't get any better. They have to take more and more and more weight. So gravity is constantly working, even in static structures like this. And what we have to do is find the materials that can cope with that kind of pressure. Phew. OK. Um, so remember, we're trying to work out what makes materials strong. So we're going to try and do a test now. And I need a volunteer to help me work out what are strong materials. OK, brilliant. Let's, let's take you over there. Fantastic. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Great. So you come over here. So what is your name? Natasha. Natasha. OK, Natasha. Now, are you up to helping me work out what 
which, which are strong materials that we need for building. Yep. Okay, fantastic. If you go around that corner there, I'll come around here, I'll join you. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, we, we've got here a dresser like you might sort of have at home with some objects on it. And I want, we're going to try and test them to destruction. Okay. And to get you in the right mood for this, I want you to think about um, the most furious moment in your life and how you felt. And in that moment, you thought, gosh, I really want to throw this ball at that, okay. didn't you? And okay. I'm also going to get you to put some safety goggles on. <laughs> Is that all right? Mm -hmm. And so you're holding that thought, mm -hmm. furious. And of course, you could never do this at home. You would never do this at home. Well. But here you can do it. Is this going to be the happiest moment of your life? Yes. OK. <laughs> now, it's going to be a competition, which is always the way with me. So you're going to get three balls. I'm going to hand you. And I'm going to get three balls. And we're going to see who can smash the most. OK. Does that sound fair? I'm thinking furious thoughts. You're thinking furious thoughts. Mm -hmm. And let's see which materials can survive. OK. Off you go. You go first. <laughs> oh! <laughs> OK, wow. All right, now I'm going to do the same. Oh, not too bad. Buddy, off you go. Oh, sorry. Wow, you are quite angry inside. OK. Oh, all right, last go. Oh, fantastic. OK. I'm actually quite nervous now. Um, oh. Now, what's the score, everybody? Did you get this? <laughs> it's one each. So I think there's a fair fury divide between us. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> OK. OK, so look. Let's just look at the wreckage in here. <laughs> so this got hit, but actually, this is paper and survived. It's all right, isn't it? And this metal plate got a bit dented, but survived. So they seem good candidates for strong materials. This cup bit the dust big time. Porcelain cup, clearly a weak material. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. Well, you would, would you? You've fallen into my trap. <laughs> all right, is it weak? Let's see. Um, we've got a replica cup here. Now. I want to show you how thin this is, because you know how thin they are, but I'm just going to show you. You can actually, porcelain cups are fine bone channel like this. You can actually shine lights through. Look at that. That thin. You're, we're saying this is weak, but is it? I'm going to now do something which you shouldn't do at home. In fact, you shouldn't do any of this at home. <laughs> Will you promise? OK. But I'm going to stand on this cup and see if it really w is so weak. I'm pretty hefty. I didn't get on those scales earlier, because I was a bit embarrassed. But you see. I've got a lot of weight. Gravity's pulling me down. All of my weight's going on the cup. No problem at all. <laughs> so it, it seemed quite strong there, didn't it? Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, he, they've got a dummy cup. This is a super strong cup, and that was a weak cup. So just to prove to you that's not the case, and because I can. <laughs> so. The cup was pretty strong when I stood on it, but is it going to be able to survive this? No. <laughs> so what's clear from any tantrum you've ever had, and, any, is, and this test here, is that there are different kinds of strengths of the materials. And that we had, you've got a strength here, which is about impact strength. And some things are great under impact, and they're terrible under other things. So the paper was good under impact, but if I put a paper cup down here, it would crush. On the other hand, the ceramic cup was terrible under impact, and is fantastic under these compressive forces of me. So we, when we think about building and building out of materials, what we really need to think about is which type of strength we want. And in the case of a building, we want more like the, the, the compressive strength. And so we have to make sure that we're picking materials with high compressive strengths. What do I mean by ceramics and that kind of thing? Well, a ceramic is a tiny, I mean, we saw it's a porcelain cup, and it's a tiny little crystals inside there. They're, they're, they're the same sort of crystals in jewelry. Like, they're, they're like rubies and, 
and sapphires and all these kind of things, aluminum oxides, silicon oxides, and they're tiny little crystals all, all munched together. And that, that cup seemed like a really good material to build a building out of. So you're thinking, why don't we have enormous buildings made out of cups? <laughs> well, we do. Because ceramics, that material, that class of material, is the same material as bricks, and it's the same material as stones and rocks and all these kind of materials. But I want to show you an even better material. And this is it. Concrete. Absolutely fantastic material. This is a, such an amazing material. And we all just take it for granted. I think because it looks so sort of grey and dull. And so we think it must, it must be grey and dull if it looks grey and dull, but it isn't. It's the stuff of absolute phantasmo. Is that a word? Anyway, I've said it. Look, inside here is cement and gravel. And we're going to, if you make, if you, if you set this, you can put it, you can pour it, you can, you can, you can shift it up 200 metres in the air, pump it up through huge pumps. That's how they make really tall buildings. They pump it up. So it behaves like a liquid, even though it's sort of a gravel aggregate. And then when it gets there, it'll set. So it's not, as you might think, drying out. It's actually a, a chemical reaction is happening inside. Let me show you. This is what's happening. Little crystals are growing inside the concrete. So this is a ceramic. And it's you know, incredibly good uh, compressive strength. And what happens is, is that you've got this basically a liquid rock, which you can pump anywhere, you can pour anywhere, you can bring on. And then you can make these enormous buildings. And then when they set, they have a huge compressive stress, strength. So, this is a fantastic material. And in fact, it seems that we've kind of come to the material we need to make big buildings to build us off the planet. We need rock, basically, ceramic. It could be concrete or it can be stone. But this is the way, surely, this is the way to build huge buildings. Well, it's no news. You know it. <laughs> we've been doing it for 5,000 years. Let me show you. It's getting a bit uh, hot here. Okay, yes, ah, it's good to get some winter sun, don't you think? Um, look, I'm by the pyramids in Egypt, and this, you know, these buildings have been built out of stone, and, you know, they really show exactly what I'm talking about. They've lasted for 5,000 years. There's enormous compressive stresses at the bottom, and they've been there for 5,000 years, and this rock has not given up. Incredible down here. And so, surely, this is the right both material and structure to start, start building ourselves off the planet. So let's think about this. If I get a map out of central London here, and this is to scale, then uh, we are, we are, that's a very strange material. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, sorry. We are here, Albemarle Street. This is the RI to scale. And it's got a little hole in the roof, just like this one's got a little hole in the roof. OK, so let's try and build the tallest building in the world, but out of concrete, and let's do it in a pyramid structure. Because but where are we going to put it? I mean, there seems to be a lot of space here. <laughs> there's Green Park, there's St. James's Park.